So one day, we didn't question why the small town we'd found after getting lost in the countryside wasn't on the map. The quaint streets and old-fashioned charm seemed like a hidden gem. We didn't question why the shopkeeper in town didn't have eyebrows or hair on his head. He greeted us with a wide, toothy grin, his eyes gleaming strangely, almost greedily. We didn't question why the gas at the station we stopped at was so cheap. The clerk, also lacking hair, insisted on making a phone call in the back before ringing us up. As we were filling the tank, a peculiar man approached our car and mentioned that the sun was going down. We didn't question why his warning sounded so urgent, nor why there were so many bald people standing on the street, watching us with unsettling intensity. The town's eerie silence was broken only by the sound of our tires screeching as we hurriedly left. We didn't question why, halfway down the road, we began pulling our hair out, clumps of it falling onto our laps. Panic set in, and inexplicably, we decided to turn around and head back to the town. The lure of its mystery and the need for answers were too strong to resist, even as fear gnawed at our sanity.